Hello and welcome to another Act Games Legends 4KP video, this one with a special performance acoustically at the end of the video of my song Pen and Paper. I'm Danny Hogger and this is Kickback with At Games Legends 4KP pinball action, a little chill and chat, little pinball pals if you will. Today we're playing Farfalla Deluxe on the At Games 4KP and I actually got the scoreboard on the screen. <laughs> I know that's something that I would have wanted to watch over the last few videos, so hopefully you'll appreciate that. It's still hard to capture this angle where you've got this like very horizontal widescreen. Um, I'm gonna try a few tilting angles here in the start, and then if you find a spot in the time code where you think is the best fit, comment it down below and I'll try to aim for that from now on. Farfalla Deluxe is a game where you collect butterflies. Oh, it's a magic pixel game. Actually, it could be a Zechariah game. You probably know that. Anyways, it's a fun one. It's, it's one that I don't think I would have explored very much if not for the fact that our pre-order tables on the 4KP have not been delivered till February 20th. So we still have a week out from the time of making this video. And one thing I'm actually grateful for is that it's been kind of nice to explore these other tables and explore the gameplay settings and styles other than the tables you intend to play because you bought them in advance. So I sort of think I'm glad, like I've been forced to spend some time in a library with these titles I never would have glanced at past the cover. And I'm enjoying taking a second and third run into them. Um, so let's follow a little action here and talk about what's going on. I really like the spinner sound effects. That doo -doo 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 -doo, the sparkling twinkling sound. I think it's like a nicely designed piece of audio. I also like that Farfalla is one of the faster tables of all of the stock 15 that you get with the At Games 4KP. There's not a lot of obstructions in the middle of the screen or the middle of the table, depending on how you say it. Um, so that the action pretty much flies free and fast. And so keeping that save ball on that you just saw is pretty important to make sure you don't drain balls quickly because they can flush out rather fast. The ball gets up to a pretty good speed compared to some of the others where there's lots of action and objects in the middle of the tables where it seems like it's actually hard to get going. Not in Farfalla, you're gonna hit some high speeds. Again, really love that sound as you go around the orbits and around the ramps. Plus, I like the fluttering butterfly sound you hear as I just picked up my sixth. So you're walking around collecting butterflies. You're also trying to light up the um, bonus multiplier, which is near the flippers, just above the save ball. I really like that you get bonuses to start each turn with. So sometimes you get to start with extra butterflies or three times multipliers. That's great because I think Farfalla might be one of the games where I can make a run at the top 10 pages of high scores if I keep playing because they're around 200 million right now versus some of the other tables are already into the billions with the high scores, which I don't know how people are doing this, but there must be some really exceptional VPIN players out there, maybe some professionals or some competitors. Uh, but for us novices, we're just happy to play some multi-ball. And here you get a shot of how fast the table really is with three balls simultaneously traveling around the table. And I mean, I love video games and you know I'm on 2K TV and I, how much I've loved sports games forever, but there are very few things as exciting as a multi-ball action on pinball. It's just so stimulating to see and try to keep balancing of your lefts and rights, trying to keep the save ball feature on, keep those balls in play, and knowing that you could be racking up scores two times, three times, or four times faster um, especially if you're coordinated enough to still focus on the targets and the missions of the table while all this action is flying fast and free. Wow, it's a good time. And I really enjoyed uh, the process of playing this one. And multi-ball is just always such a blast. I also enjoy the side action like the butterfly races, which you're going to see me do a lot in games two and games three, which are just a blast. What's your favorite part of Farfalla? Put it down in the comments below. I enjoy kind of the simple top left action. You get some extra um, flippers in the bottom left and bottom right when you light up the bonuses. I really like the top third of the screen where you have like a second set of flippers that are extended and very long with this little thin play field. That's sort of fun to play sideways when you get up to the top. And overall, I just think the game uh, adds a lot of appeal without making things overly complex. Like there's not a lot of different modes besides the butterfly modes the multipliers and the bonuses. So that means that you can just kind of enjoy playing the sights and sounds, the colors are bright and vibrant, and it's overall just kind of a cheery 
pinball experience. We're going to get more into the pinball action now, and at the end of this video, you'll see an acoustic performance of one of my songs, Pen and Paper. And if you haven't heard me talking about it, I went to Abbey Road in October. I have a brand new album from that experience called All Sides of Me, and a new unplugged album that's exclusively on Bandcamp right now called Unplugged, recorded at Abbey Road. I'm Danny Hogger. It's my pleasure to bring you some chit chat and games. Let me know which game you want to talk about next in the comments. Let's listen to some just audio here from the 4KP. And let's enjoy Farfalla. And at the end, we'll see Pen and Paper by me, Danny Hogger. Twenty-eight million. Yeah. 
awesome thing.
and listening my new album all sides of me is in all stores everywhere and the unplugged album live recorded at abbey road studios is on Bandcamp. will be everywhere february 29th thanks like and subscribe see you next time